The Jewish holiday of Purim, which commemorates the saving of the Jewish people from annihilation, as detailed in the Book of Esther, is rapidly approaching. So, let me take you back to the 15th century with the story of a word which is commonly used in both Jewish and non-Jewish English today. In 15th century Europe, during Purim, it became a common practice for groups of Jewish traveling actors to travel around and stop house by house to perform Purim spiels for family audiences. These spiels were interactive in that the actors often made use of the audience itself in their performances. This is the origin of modern-day Purim spiels, which are performed annually in many synagogues around the world. But why do we call it a spiel? If you speak Yiddish, you might realize that the word spiel comes from the verb spiel, to play. Today, we use the word spiel to describe a long, lofty speech, usually with the intention to persuade someone of something, which is a little bit more boring than the meaning with which the families of 15th century Europe were familiar. To them, the word connotated a whole lot more fun. However, these festive connotations are still maintained by our modern-day Purim spiels.